I want to call him. In First Chronicle chapter 4, verse 10, Jabez, or Jabez, called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from hurt and harm. And God granted what he asked. Okay? And God granted. Is this how we pray? Is this how you pray? Okay? Jabez called on the God of Israel, or that you would bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from hurt and harm. And God granted what he asked. And God granted what he asked. Would that be applicable to you now? And God granted what you asked. O, himayin po natin, ah, himayin natin. The prayer is composed of four parts. First, Jabez asked God to bless him. Oh, we do that more often. Yes? Palagi nga eh. Second, he asked God to enlarge his territory or increase his responsibility. Ganun talaga eh. Because blessing comes in the form of responsibility. Actually, stop asking for, Lord, sana madagdagan ako ng sweldo. Ang hingin mo, Lord, dagdagan mo ako responsibilidad. Obviously, pag meron kang dagdag na responsibilidad, may dagdag kang sweldo. O, oh, sasabihin nyo, oh, nagre-reklamo yung iba. Hindi, dagdag trabaho nga lang. It will come. It will come. If it doesn't come now, God will find a way to reward you. Oh yeah, hold on to that. Hold on to that. And third, he prays that God will be with him and stay close. Oh, yun yung prayer natin. Kasi minsan, iniiwan na natin si Lord eh. Diba? Parang kailangan lang natin siya pag may problema. Pag walang problema, oh, he can, he can go. Diba? Natatandaan niyo yung kwento ko yung bata. O, oh, mayaman sila eh. Meron silang yaya. <laughs> Tapos sabi niya minsan sa, sa nakwento ko na yata sa inyo yan. Diba? O, oh, anyway. Lastly, the best ask that God keep him from harm so that he will be free from pain. Why? Alam niyo si Jabez, yung pangalan niya po ay pain. Pain po ang ibig sabihin nung Jabez. Kaya talo, kaya parang katulad natin, tayo din may mga pangalan na tayo sa ating mga sarili, di ba? And, and, and uh, you know, we just have to get rid of that and ask God to bless us. Lord, tanggalin mo na yung failure or you call yourself failure. Lord, you call yourself hopeless. You call yourself wala ng pag-asa. You call yourself wala na. Ayan, hanggang dito na lang. No, don't do that, okay? Jabez, yung pangalan niya pain because he caused his mother pain. Nung pinanganak si Jabez, eh, talaga pong sobrang nasaktan. Kung baga sa sobrang labor siguro nung nanay niya. Kaya pinangalanan siyang Jabez. Okay? So, we learn from Jabez how to pray. We learn from him how to get answer from our prayer. How did Jabez do that? Okay? Si Jabez po na nalalangin. How did he do that? That's yung pag-uusapan po natin. Kaya lang, again, I want you to remember that Jabez was honored more than his brothers. And his mother named him Jabez, be saying, because I bore him in pain. Ayan yun malinaw, ha? Jabez was honored more than his brothers. Why? Maybe because even if he was born in pain, he's living a life that is pleasing to God. He's living a life that he knows is, is, is uh, acceptable to God. He's living a life honorable to God. Yes? Yes. Okay, so pag-usapan natin ngayon, five lessons that Jabez teaches us when asking God. Yes, there are five. Number one, when you pray, you begin by acknowledging who God is. Okay? Acknowledge who God is. Your almighty God, your powerful God, your omniscient God. Or better yet, how do you, How did Jesus... Yung, yung, yung natatandaan nyo ba yung tanong ni Lord? Who do people say I am? Yan, acknowledge Him. Who, who is to you? Who is Jesus to you? My friend, my Savior, my salvation, my refuge, uh, my love, my, my fortress my provider, my healer, o yun. Acknowledge who God is to you. Okay? First. Second, when you pray, do it with a heart fully invested in the blessings of God. Do it with a heart fully invested in the blessings of God. Lahat ng natanggap nating pagpapala, talagang kailangan nating pasalamatan. Alam naman ng Lord ang laman ng puso natin eh. Dahil ang prayer nga na, na pinakikinggan ng Diyos ay hindi po yung prayer na galing sa uso kundi yung prayer na galing sa puso. Third, when you pray, ask God to multiply your territory and do more through you. Okay? Multiply your territory and do more 
through you sa pamamagitan mo yung blessings na yon expand your responsibility expand your business expand your ministry expand what you're doing for God and God will bless you mightily and He will do it through you okay? through you hindi pwedeng iba ha kailangan nandyan ka okay? the fourth one when you pray request more than blessings and provision but that God's hand would lead you through any circumstances and trials that come your way. Yes, yung po yung prayer niya. Stay close to me, Lord, and that would be your greatest blessing. Okay? Request more than blessings and provision, but that God's hand would lead you through any circumstances and trials that come your way. Kaya nga ang prayer po ni Jabez, stay close to me. Huwag mo ko iiwan, Lord. Ayan. Kaya alam mong hindi ka pababayaan ng Diyos. Don't just ask for blessings and provision. Binibigay na sa'yo ni Lord yan kahit hindi mo hinihingi. Yes? And lastly, when you pray, come to God, vulnerable, and ready for Him to turn your weakness into His glory. Payagan mong gamitin ka ng Panginoon sa iyong vulnerability, sa iyong kahinaan. Remember when Paul says, It is when I am weak that I am strong. Allow the Lord to use you. Okay? Yes, don't focus on your weakness, but it's there. Be aware of that and let God use you on that weakness. Pag tinignan mo naman lahat ng mga ginamit ng Diyos, may mga weakness naman sila. Lahat. Lahat. Walang exemption. Lahat. Ayan. Okay? Pag magsuma lamang, tawagan mo ako pag-usapan natin. Yes? Yes. Okay. Very good. So, we, we pray that prayer okay, of Jabez always so that God would grant our prayer. Amen? Amen. And the next time, we'll talk about the problem of evil. Okay? And we'll talk about also on how God never let go of us, even if you let go of Him. Yes? Okay? Because God is faithful. And God will always be faithful to you. 